Hello and welcome back to another episode of Total War Three Kingdoms. This is the Yen Baiho playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we spent a lot of our time taking over this southern area. We've been expanding into the west here of the Southlands, but we are doing pretty good. We're still at war with the Han Empire, which means these territories are still up for grabs. If I want to send an army down there, which I very well may, and... I think I just vassalized this guy, I believe so, yeah. Just vassalized Shi Wu, I also vassalized his friend, oh, who was it? There was somebody else that I vassalized, but maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, this guy here, Shi Wan Yang. So, who else do we have? Sun Sir, where I think we have fairly decent relations with now, Wang Long, um, and is there Leo Yao? Uh, where's he, where's he at? He's up here. So, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good hanging in there now. But we've got quite a few. All of this light gray area is my territory. And then Wang Long is my... I believe he and I are... Have a coalition, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, yeah, we have a coalition. Which I've been trying to get other people to join, but apparently they're not interested. What I'm going to do in the meantime is finish taking over Nanhai, and then where to go from there? That's a good question. Yeah, I think I'm going to start heading south here to take these Han territories. So I'm going to send my army on your go in march mode, and we're going to head this way. And then what I'm going to do is raise up a single unit here to... Um, take over Nanhai. So, this is just deserted. Is there anybody that feels lack of purpose? Let's do Pan Lane. We'll Be still him. to conserve spirit. And since we're going to raise him up, let's go ahead Gather and... Everyone. There are plans to draw up. Oh, I don't have enough money to raise up different units. Oh, he's got a lot of different units available too, so that's pretty good. So I probably won't do exclusively archer units with him. Um, okay, let's go ahead and end the turn there. I'm sure I've done everything that I could for this past turn. Might just be a lot of quick turns until Let us talk action trade. happens. Let's see. Leo Biao is offering us a mercenary contract against her E. Not bad, but he's nowhere near me. So be it. I think if I could have done this playthrough different, yeah! what I would have done. Oh, somebody leveled up. Ever upwards for my people! I think the only thing I would have done different is not make so many, like, peace treaties and, uh, what do you call it? Um, we must lead. what do you call it here? Give me just a sec. Force penalties, armor piercing, this gives enable stock. What does stock do? Can move while hidden in any terrain. Oh, that's not a bad idea at all. Okay. <coughs> Um, is that a oh do I have a different sword now who's wielding these Joe Bo Joe, <laughs> Joe Bo okay anyway let's keep moving I know our destination there we go And let's recruit some guys for him. I'm thinking one of these. One of these. Who's better? Um, yeah, I guess these guys. What did they do? Bandit Marauders, these are Bandit Raiders. Oh, these guys are anti-missile, that wouldn't be a bad idea. And then... Maybe another... 
weak against missile attacks. This guy's anti-cavalry, -cal good against mounted. And he's got a shield, so that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. There we go. And we'll put him in Marshal your as reserves. Well. A lapping tide erodes That's gonna stone. be four thousand, so I think we'll just hang out on oh We must rest. I wanna hang out on the border so I could build up his units. I might have to go back a little bit. I just realized we I'm not gonna have no enough to team. purchase that. So a non aggression pact with Cao Cao. So let's see if he has uh, I guess it's not a terrible idea to have a non aggression pact if he'll pay me for it, so we are finished. But here. yeah, starting out, if I could have started out differently, I would have not made a non aggression pact with like Wang Long and um, Leo Yao and all those people. I would have just completely taken over the Southlands, which I'm sure I'll get that opportunity. Another still. branch grows and sprouts. Let's see. Yeah, you know. Let's... Each step in wisdom. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna put him there. I would meet with my advisors. Oh, he's not getting, uh, he's not getting uh, troops because he's in march mode. I wasn't paying attention. Purpose and strength. There we go. What does this do? Gives him charge resistance. Okay. I'm gonna give. I haven't given anybody a title yet. I'm gonna give Joe. Oh no! I'm gonna give Yan Yu a title. Earth Dragon. That gives him increased authority, reduced penalty from desire for a higher office, which he doesn't have. Men of merit, satisfaction. Okay, so it just raises satisfaction. So you use these. Oh, but this one gives him... See, the different titles give them different buffs. So that gives him... Resolve, which would be good because he scales with Resolve, so it probably would not be a bad idea. This one gives Satisfaction and Resolve. This gives minus Recruitment cost. This new title system is really cool. Oh, that gives him Instinct and enables Poison Arrows, but he doesn't have any... Archery unit. It also gives reduced penalty for desired office and enables ignore forest penalties. I'm thinking this one is going to be good. General of the left. Let's do that. Boom. That's really cool. And then Han Lin. Let's give him a title. That'll give him 15. Let's see if there's anything that gives him, um, oh, what is it? Cunning. Let's see if there's anything that gives him cunning. General of the front. General who stands his ground. That's pretty cool. Oh, that would have, I could have done that one. It would have given his army morale. There's nothing, anything specific to... Cunning. So I think I could just give him like a basic title like Orator. Let's do that. And I get a bandit network. Let's do income from all sources. It gives us morale and minus corruption. Recruitment cost for spears. Let's do the income one since we just spent some money. That's a good idea. Forever striving. The tiger prowls. Okay. And I think we're gonna end the turn. Remain flexible to react with agency. There. An honorable offer, you will agree. Mm -mm. No way, that's a terrible it deal. It is your choice. It's 
really interesting having that mercenary option, but I feel like it's not at a good place right now. You know what would be good? If you accepted a mercenary contract, if you could raise an army over at the over at your person who's contracted you's province. Like to me that sounds like that would make a lot more sense because then you you don't lose um, Stand ready. You don't lose out on the contract if you can't make it to where they want you to go. Like, for instance, if I accepted that Tsao Tsao contract, the closest place that I have to want to see, I can't even see Tsao Tsao on the map. So, what would be the point? I mean, I've got this province here where I could raise an army, but I don't know. I don't know where Tsao Tsao is, so why would I accept a contract if I can't even see him? <coughs> so. Yeah, that just, I don't know, I feel like that um, mechanic could use a little bit more work. Because it's only, it only really works Purpose drives us. if you're nearby. Okay, getting ready to take Gao Liang. Let us talk trade. <clears throat> now, if I accept this contract from him but I don't do anything and it upsets him or does it ruin my reputation altogether oh plus I get negative because treaties with our enemy yeah you have no honor that's a lot of money but, but still I just don't think it's a good idea. I need to experiment a little bit more with those mercenary contracts because I don't want to ruin my character's overall reputation. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and set you to normal stance. Stay alert. And all I had to do was occupy that. I didn't even need to do anything. And I got a local hero, Sha. D D again. It's his deal. I may not need him. He's loyal. He's brilliant. He's clever. Maybe I could use him to spy. Let's have him in Swinsur's faction. There we go. There is no end I will not go to. That costs 1500. I think I can afford that. And then we'll send reserve action. Moving out. And we'll get this on the next turn. And then I might have to chill here at this livestock Kneel farm. before us or be crippled. You crazy. As you prefer. I think so. The next playthrough that I'm going to do is going Together to be. Together we can usher in new hope. Who does he want to invite? Yeah. Another time then. <clears throat> um, my next playthrough is probably going to be as Lu Bu, and then I'll do Swin Sir. And depending on what's going on in terms of like updates and things At after ease. that if it doesn't seem like there's going to be any updates for a when while a bow, i'll do a campaign with i'll do a campaign with one of like the mods that i use that changes the portraits because like there's so many different like unique portraits that people get and everything in the generals looks so awesome um so that's probably what i would want to do Next, I'm gonna get this salt mine. And I've got some things I could sell. Let me see if any of my people need anything. I can't give him anything. It's okay. I have what is it that I have here? This fish, which gives authority. Let's give the fish to you. See if I can sell some stuff. So this 
dude that we keep trying to invite to the coalition. Welcome. Let's see what Come I can in. do to get him with us. doesn't want to be my vassal. Let's... How much can you give us? He's too poor. He can't afford anything. This is what I'll do. Since I have an overabundance of food, I'll give him like... I'll give him like... three food per turn. Your proposal humbles us. There we go. I want to get Leo Yao Glad on our to side. See you. He really doesn't want to, though. Huh. All right. We'll leave it at that for now. No mercy! We'll let this army build because. Oh, he took that trade port. See, that's why I'm saying I would rather have. What do you call it? Um. Let me see. This. I think this food's going to be important, although. Research rate. I think food's going to be important, because I can just keep selling that, I'm trying to just build up here. <coughs> there we go. And I guess I'll just keep Yen there. You, I think I'll wait for his army to build up, and then I'll... Actually, I don't think I even need to do that. What I, I answer, my lord. Let's bring you back. There you go. That way we get more money per turn, and then we'll use Yen to just go through and conquer as much Han territory as possible. <clears throat> Man, I'd like to fight out a battle. It's been like, I think the only episode where we really got to fight out any battles was uh, the first one. And I've been wanting to, but <clears throat> I haven't really had the opportunity. I haven't fought any like large enemies. I think my only enemies are Dong Min and the Han Empire. Our spy has, <coughs> oh, excuse me, our spy has been dispatched to another faction there. There they will travel the land attempting to ingratiate themselves with the nobility while simultaneously scouting for us and building an undercover network. An exquisite weapon, what did I get? Ooh, ooh Kendra Jian. Let's see here. Oh, thank you. I'll give it to... Leo Yu. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Yo, you Yu's not very happy. His friend died. What can we do? What can we do to make him happy? Does he have any desire to grow? No. Why don't we give him a uh, title? <clears throat> we don't want to give him too much. Attendant would make him a little happier. So would patrol commander. Let's do that. And now he's happier. He's got 60 satisfaction. By my hand! Okay. This victory is well earned. Take this place. Oh, I should have rooted crap. <laughs> it's been a few days since I played, so that's okay, man. 
We're just expanding. Um, my goal. Ooh, 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 what's going on here? Oh, I forgot about those. Okay, let's get. Let's pull somebody up who's got lack of purpose. Lack of purpose. All right, Leo, you. I choose you. That's the copper mine. Let's get you up here, buddy. Clarity shines the path to peace. There we go. Time. I didn't even Rejoice. realize. Okay. Your Lord has returned. That's 4,000. That's 8,000. We're going to have to grow our income doing that. We're getting there. One step at a time. But yeah, <laughs> I want to take over the whole Southlands. And I'm going to see. Like, I, I really don't want to just take over all of China. That's usually what I do. I, and I really want to try different strategies here. I don't like to just... Ooh, ooh. Spy recruited, okay. He's general, he's a general. And Chancellor, oh wow. I think that's the highest position that he could be, Guanshu. And I got the discourses of the state. What does that do? That's authority. Oh, negative five corruption. Ooh, he has a really cool thing. I'm gonna give that to him, though. That is really cool. Celestial Sphere. Maybe I can give that to Panlin. Oh, that gives him a lot of cunning, though. I'll give it to... Oh, I can't... I can't give it to anybody else? Maybe I have to wait for it to come back, and then I'll give it to Wong Kuang. I think would be good. Of course, the satisfaction went down because I took his toy. Now. Okay. And where are you at? Resist the chaos of change. Strike as one. Get that rice patty. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Let me see if I can get. I'm gonna do bandit network. And this one gives minus corruption and also plus four morale. I'm gonna do that one. I really need to get more allies, so we gotta see what we can do here. I'll, I mean, the seriously, I'll even mine. ally. Oh, but he's already got. He's already in a coalition with. Oh, Leo Bay and Leo Dai. That's a little dangerous. Um. That's not good. Okay. Well met, friend. I could liberate him, but that's not gonna really do me any good. Good to see you. Dude, I want you to join. He's not at war with anybody. Does he have any ancillary? No. Quest payment. You wish. I'm trying to build up good relations with these well met, friend. local dudes so that we can have a big coalition. What do you need, man? Gotta have something. He's got a lot of money. So we're definitely gonna request that from him. That should be good. Rational minds always find common okay. ground. Good, good, good. I'm gonna just save real quick, just because the sound keeps cutting out. I know it does, what do you call it, an autosave, just to be on the safe side. I don't want to take any chances. Fight for peace! Alright, and we'll end the turn there. Then we need to raise, I think, 8,000 to take that deserted city, which um, Wang Long shouldn't be able to afford. I will acknowledge your legitimacy for some wisdom money. Why met not? By wisdom. I'm surprised that I'm not, like, a higher rank by now. Let me see my positions of office that I have open. I got promoted to Grand Tutor. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I think Chancellor is higher, isn't it? I don't have the same ranks. 
Uh, shoot, I don't know. Ooh, I need to get married. Let's see what her traits are. Friendly. Receptive. Charismatic. I'm gonna have to give her some kind of title to keep her happy. Let's give her that. Let's do... Satisfaction. She's just gonna be like a governor for me. I'm not really gonna have her do a whole lot. I mean, I'm gonna need... I know I have my brother as my heir, but I think it's still wise to have a child. And then we're gonna give that to you. There we go. Cool beans. Tear them apart! Okay, we're gonna loot this one. <laughs> For our people, there can be only victory! I'm having a lot of fun playing this campaign too. I mean it's it's really easy rises. going, which for me is something that I that I enjoy because I I mean it's more I guess it's more exciting when there's more I guess of a threat and things going on. A successful mission. But it's nice to be able to just chill. Oh, I can't do any of these. I'm not famous yet. Oh, Yen Bai Ho is going to be wounded. Crap. So after capturing the town, you arrange a meeting with the magistrates of the newly annexed county. During the discussions, one of their attendants suddenly pulls out a blade and rushes directly towards you. His eyes scream murder. His intentions clearly malevolent. So you suffered a serious but not fatal wound. And that's Yen Bai Ho, so... Lovely. He's gonna be out of commission All just for a little bit unite. there. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Actually, maybe I should wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait so that that way I can take this city faster. And make sure there's no, like, damaged cities that I took, because that'll lower the population satisfaction. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. We're good. I'm gonna make him the Welcome, commanding my lord. general for now. And I think we can end the turn there. And I think we'll go straight up for Yulin. And I think maybe now I could get a trade agreement going with Shi Hui. Shi Hui. I think Shi Hui. Yeah. Chu Hui. Shi Hui. Yeah. I think that's Shi Hui. I think we can get a um, trade agreement going with Shi Hui. Ambushes. Due to their very nature, the truly humble are rarely spoken of. The work this court noble produces proves a derive satisfaction from the diligent completion of their responsibilities rather than seeking recognition from their peers. So he gets, pa Pan Lin gets uh, plus 10 satisfaction for 10 turns. That's nice. Lin Ji, a cryptographer, which no I could effort sell that. Will achieve this. There we go. And I think Yen is back in commission, but we're going to give him some time to recover. For meantime, go straight for Yulin. Let's see if I have any available trade agreements. I don't. Okay. Well, if I get a um, bandit network that opens that up, then that's something we want to consider. <coughs> that's only just a march away, so I'm just going to wait till I have the money to take that one. Maybe I can trade something, though, and get closer to that. We also want to constantly make sure we're... Good building to see. relations with people. Well met, friend. Has a much lower chances. A pleasure. We don't want to just give them away, but. That should be good. We are obliged to you for this kindness. I'm eager to listen. Maybe I can trade just one to him. Actually, my wife probably needs that one, but I mean, trade him. And request payment. Oh, yeah. He'll give me a lot more. We'll just do it so that it's 2.0. Yeah. There we go. 
rational minds always find common Perfect. ground. So that way, by the next turn, I'll be able to take uh, Jian An. I think that's how you pronounce it, Jian An. Okay, and in the turn. Does this seem fair? No. You that want the star? Not seem fair. Okay. So let's take Yulin Town and then Yulin Trade Fort. We'll take a look at how um, our spy is doing too. It looks like his satisfaction is pretty high too, so that's good. Jian Yang, he was a an official of Liu Bei. Strike through. Two arms. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. And they are like fire. children, the shiny objects, and need help. <laughs> I've never heard them say that. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't know if you heard him say that. He goes, they're like children with shiny objects and need help. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do. I can pretty much, if I build enough like stuff here, I could pretty much do anything I want. Open gates, diminish public order, instigate yellow turban uprising, persuade or pursue administrative appointment, which I'm pretty much already up there. I don't know what to do. Military revolt. Arrange for a loyal member of your undercover network to infiltrate a known character's army, thereby granting you its line of sight and allowing you to track its maneuvers. What I want to do is be able to steal one of his generals, like Huang Gai. Oh, how could I get Huang Gai? He's got a hundred. He's got Huang Gai. He's got... Sun Xuan, who's actually dissatisfied. Ooh. You know what? My thing might be to, um, what do you call it? Uh, where is it? Discredit character. So that that way Sun Xuan will leave and I can maybe get him. He would be awesome to have. In the meantime, I'm just going to build my undercover network. That's going to help build my cover points quicker okay let's put let's hide up, by who back at the head there we go my people are all happy too 87 60 82 91 63 86 and then my brother's 100 looking good unification looking good. requires discipline a satisfying outcome Boom. nice ew and i got a new horse Let's give that to Liu yeah, Liu Yu. Gives resolve. Yeah, that'll be okay for now. Hold on. Just making sure there's nothing I can give to her. She looks happy. I think everybody's relatively happy. I need to keep increasing things. Let's look at our new provinces here. We want to get as much income as we can. Sungwoo. We can do... Yeah, we just want as much money as possible. And we'll take this trade port. There's a spice market. We're just going to keep going through the... Follow the trail and <laughs> take as much as we can. In fact, if I don't have any kind of agreements going with Shi Hui... Uh, Shi Hui then I think I'll just start, I'll just declare war on him and take his stuff, because that would be ideal for what I'm trying to do here. Does she want any kind of office? No, she's cool. Everybody's, like, pretty happy. Nice. Uh, let's see. What's the deal with Shi Hui here? Oh, he doesn't even like me. And we don't have nothing going on. Okay, dude. I'm gonna be coming for you. Let me get this first, and I'm just gonna drop south and just take Hepu. He I need. 
Let's get that one. She way at least has an army <laughs> that I can fight against. I'm, I've really been wanting to fight we out a battle. Be benevolent for a while. protectors. No, not happening. Curious, but yeah. acceptable. You're curious and unacceptable. Yeah, I hope Shihui has a uh, army that we can fight against. Because as much as I love just playing on chill mode and slowly taking things over, it would be more fun. Ooh, the three strategies of the Duke of the Yellow Rock. Okay, what does that do? That gives authority. Let's give that to you, sir. There you go. He's got 86 satisfaction now, too. Very nice. For the tribes. Right, Weapons. Port. Trade port. Hey! This victory is all of ours. We will loot and occupy. Seize every valuable! And then as soon as the next turn, we're going to head straight to Hepu, and then we'll go to Jiaoji, um, declare war on Homie over there. Uh, I don't think I need this army up anymore, so we're going to go ahead and disband you, but let's recruit. Ooh, he gets all kinds of units. What? We're going to get a couple of these... UA tribesmen, two, one, two, there we go. And then give those a sec to Under one banner. be purchased, and then we'll, um, and then we'll, uh, withdraw him. Okay, and can, does anybody want to join us yet? Maybe we can get Excellent. Yuan Shu to join. No, of course not. Uh, how about you guys? Welcome. Come in. I'll just do two point oh again. There we go. A kind and considered offer. Just trying to build these relations with these guys. How about you, man? Well met, friend. Still nothing. This gracious compliment. There we go. All right, we'll try in another turn to try and recruit or pull these dudes into our coalition. That would be ideal. That way, we wouldn't have to worry so much about many together as a uh, whole. them turning on us or anything. Let's My lord, tell me your wish, and I shall strive back. to fulfill it. There we go. We can focus here on the southwestern areas. I'll just go straight for Shi Hui and then uh, I'll take the other deserted places. Some things are better gained through trade. No. Nope. So be it. And we'll check on our spy too, see how he's doing. He's really happy. Ooh, look, and Shi Hui just took over that spice market, which means I won't have to pay to get it. Huang Zhu got destroyed. He's a. Uh, oh. Let's see. When plotting with your generals, a civil but heated discussion occurs over where to attack. A clear charge between two forests. One general posits, posits, is a direct and clear line to victory. The other delicately points out that a trap could easily be waiting amongst the bows. As they discuss, you ponder. Uh, observant, perceptive. I'm going to go ahead and agree. Oh, I can't even see their satisfaction. We'll just stick with her. I get a bow. And there we go. <clears throat> Let's go. Well, he just took that spice market. Fury! 
so that's probably where his army is and we want to fight his army that gives loot that gives food that gives income from banditry and an extra trade agreement boom who can we trade with Already trading with you and you. What about we are listening. What about you? Well met, friend. We're trading. Good to see you. We're not trading, but we're not close enough. How can we help each other? Why can't I trade with you? She needs some food. Let's give her. And we'll make regular payments. Strong foundations are built on such small gestures. There we go. That way we're helping out our vassals, keeping them happy. <clears throat> That's important. Don't want any rebellions or anything to spring up. I hope he sends an, an army. Exchange, perhaps. No. Your choice. <clears throat> I think I should upgrade more of my provinces too. Or settlements or whatever they're called. I think it's settlement is the proper term. We've got about ten minutes left on this episode, so hopefully we can get into something fun here. Oh and I forgot to check on my Ooh, a battle axe. Hello. Give that to Yen, you, and then maybe can I give anything to you? No. Okay. I could discredit a character, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but I think if I continue to build my undercover network, that'll be best. Let's do that. There we go. We gotta be careful about that, you know? Uh, is it 88? 70, 62, 60, 600, okay. Strike! There's his army. We're gonna fight this battle out as soon as the next turn rolls over. Maybe he'll even jump out at us. Let's see. It's been like three episodes <laughs> since we've had a this battle, so I think this will thing. be a uh, good note to end on. Very well. Goodbye. Join with us for China. Still trying for Xing Xin. Another time, then. But at least his, what do you call it? Chances of agreeing are better now. Okay. Charge! Attack! We're just gonna loot and occupy. Ooh, I get a white stallion. Who are those good for? That's for authority. Which he's got one. We'll give Leo Yu the other one. And then that horse we'll give Han Lin Yu. And then I have her. Which we can put her in another faction. Let's put her in, what do you call it? Sheng Xian's. And then that way we can get him to join us. The white tiger. Build that up. Build that up. There we go. Just gotta build up all our settlements. I keep forgetting. There we go. Just keep building everything up. Looks like we'll have a battle on our hands here in just a sec, which is preferable. We need some action. Oh, I could have attacked her, but 
cool. We'll see what they do on this next turn. Ma Tang offers us peace on behalf of Han Empire rejecting will result in war. Well, I'm gonna reject because I don't care. And this I is an insult! Want to continue to take over Han territory, so sue me. Alright, let's see what Shi Hui wants to do. Ooh, okay, he's in run mode, which means he won't be or march mode, so he won't be able to run away. Man, a lot of wars going on. I oh, know everybody signed peace except me. I'm a rebel. Ooh, and I got trustworthy as a trait for and by health. Weapons. All right, fighting this one out. We're gonna quick save, and we're gonna start the battle. I don't want the episode after this. That way, there's some beef during it. <clears throat> Let's see. They don't really have many troops or very good one. I could probably stand to upgrade some of my troops in this army just to be on the safe side. Um, that's one thing I always forget to do and I will urge you all that it's important to upgrade your troops um, when you're able to because <clears throat> that way you you know because like oh you know your old armies are like your first armies you usually just recruit whoever you can so you can make a full army but if you forget to upgrade your units then eventually you'll start fighting against armies of like the same size or even smaller size that had better units and then that'll raise their chance of defeating you so we'll make sure to do that as well i i usually focus on upgrading my provinces so much that i forget about my troops so like all of these um I guess they're G or Spear infantry guides. I think they're the gang leaders or whatever. Like they're pretty weak in terms of like, like compared to some of these other guys here. So and these little axe shield dudes. So yeah, I could probably stand to upgrade some of my archery units as well. So we'll do that. <clears throat> Actually, wouldn't be bad to have a um, strategist in my um, what do you call it here retinue here or whatever. But anyway. So we'll fight this battle out. We're definitely going to crush them, but at least you get to see some action here on the battlefield rather than just delegating everything. So Let's see how many of my units, too, can do guerrilla deployment, because that always makes things more interesting as well. Quite a lot, pretty much this whole... Yeah, all of those guys can do that. Good. Okay. Make sure everybody's in, <laughs> and then we'll come out and ambush them while I send my main guys out. They don't have any cavalry units, so we'll be okay. We'll just shoot them up. Okay, and I do have cavalry units. So we'll send them right up to <clears throat> reinforce the ranged units, and then okay. First things first. send all my oh I did not mean to do that <coughs> no what's going on here it's like automatically selecting people and I'm not trying to do that there we go let's these guys forward all right 
send everybody forward. Oh, they're not even gonna advance either. That's okay. So what we'll do, we're gonna try a little strategy here, a little stratagem. We're gonna just start sending ranged units to shoot at them. That way it kind of aggroes them. Our men are spotted. There we go. There we go, we'll just shoot him up here. Alright, I think what we're gonna do, send you in, you in. guys come in and flank so I can get those archery units and then let's get you there and get you here that ought to be good Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, some duels going. Definitely. Look, people are already running away. since those guys are running in. Let's just send you guys into them. I know it's not the best idea to send cavalry into uh, spear units, but it's okay. And then we're gonna send you. Actually, you go over there. And you do that. You get him. Go for him. And go for him. Okay. And then get you right in on him. Look at the enemy run, Craven. Oh gosh, that was really screwed over one of my um, cavalry units. There we go. It's looking good. at all. 
I'm not letting it go that easily though. Let's see. We're gonna send you in on him. Our men have been discovered! There we go. Drop their general. Good, good, good. The enemy general is fallen. A little uneventful, but <laughs> decisive victory. Man, they got stomped. <clears throat> good stuff. Good stuff. I think we'll quickly uh, take over the rest of their provinces or settlements, and we'll call that an episode. This might one might be a little bit longer than usual, but. We'll just finish up what we started here that way when we start the next episode we can begin either a new war against somebody or just keep uh, conquering <clears throat> pretty I'm, I'm sure pretty soon we're gonna have to be at odds with Sun Swit Swi Swincer I'll get it eventually I'm sure but I want to I definitely want to persuade um, uh, Swin Chuan to join he would be awesome since he's already dissatisfied with uh, his older brother as leader of the faction. I think this will be perfect. It looks like he was um, <coughs> demoted or like removed from office, so that's where his dissatisfaction comes from. So it should be easy to get him over to our side, and then I can just promote him and make him one of my leaders or something. This victory is all of ours. Ooh, I get some good money from that. We're gonna take loot. It belongs to us now. Oh, and somebody By my up. hand. There we go. He's got some good swords. He's got the white tiger's claws now. Fury! We'll go straight south. Is there anything else I can do over here? Let me just see if there's any settlements that just need to be built up real quick. Not so much. That should be good. Okay, we'll just do a couple more turns to take over his cities, or his remaining cities, and then we'll uh, end it there. I should probably be able to delegate the rest of the um, <coughs> battles from here. And I'll check up on my spy in just a moment. No. You want the stars! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What say you? Offers us peace on behalf of Dong Min. Um, yeah, whatever. We bid you goodbye. Doesn't really benefit me to be at war with Dong Min for the moment, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, Alright, so I think we'll go for a Jiao Qi. <clears throat> okay. Let's discredit a character here. Oh, he's satis he's kinda satisfied. Oh, that's my person. Gong Sun Du is not very satisfied. Sun Yu Wu Ji. Let's do. Let's just do him. There we go. Oh, that lowered his satisfaction to 33. That's really good. Okay. <clears throat> we'll keep it going. And then she can't do anything. I don't even think she's in his faction, so. Charge! This rice patty here. No mercy! <laughs> For our people, there can be only victory! Nice. Okay. And we just gotta get the small city and Hepu, small city. We get a bandit network again. 
what do we need here? Recruitment cost for spear, upkeep for spear, food from fishing, income from banditry, loot when raiding territory, range damage, yeah, that one sounds good. Let's send uh, Yen Yuan on a Grants full visibility over a county in the surrounding areas. I don't think I really need that. Or public order. That doesn't character capture chance, I see. Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about that one for now. Uh, I guess there's not a whole lot. I think it's just that. Oh, it depends on what city you're doing. Okay. I want to keep at least three people open in case I need to raise a new army, so we'll just keep that how it is, and we'll end the turn. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take over these two cities, and we will call that an episode, so this will be a little bit longer. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, it's very easy going, so just I kind of just because I started off on the little you know island down here. <coughs> the Southland, so there's not a whole lot of resistance or whatever for my campaigns, but I'm um, thinking like once I get to start as um, as uh, Lu Bu in my next playthrough, um, that, uh, that should be a lot more exciting and action-packed because I think I start just like right in the middle of war with Cao Cao, so that'll be a little crazy. Some things are better gained through trade. No. We withdraw it then. Oh, I gotta try and see if I can get an alliance with any of those other factions now too. We'll give that a shot. Let me do that before I forget. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you, bro. Oh man, still not very high. Just give that to him. A kind and considered offer. I'm eager to listen. Yep. Boom. This meets our approval. That's gonna make me stronger now. The bigger the coalition that I'm a part of, the better it is. Let me see. Oh, Kong Rong. But it feels Kong right. Greetings. Let's see. Ooh, well met. And a trade agreement with Kong Rong. Or could I get a trade agreement with you? A pleasure. I cannot. Let's get a trade agreement going Welcome, with Kong Rong. Friend. And who's he at war with? Let's see what I can get from you then, homie. There we go. Actually, there we go. We accept. Nice. That's gonna help us out a lot. Not that we really needed it, but it's still good. Let's see what my chances are of getting our buddy Shing. Xian. Welcome. Come in. What are the chances now? So both of them kind of want him in, but now he—it seems like he's not crazy about Liu Yao. So that's gonna be a different bridge that we'll need to cross. Yuan Shao is kind of just a loser. We feel honored. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna spend all day doing that. Um, let's go ahead and take this city. Strike! Oh, we're gonna have to siege it. That's fine. Tear them apart. Okay. Upgrade some of my stuffs here. Let's get some more food going. We want as much income as possible, so let's do that 
one plus five food. That's gonna be nice. We'll save some money. We're gonna need some money. <clears throat> Let's see if this guy tries to attack us while we're sieging his capital. It's kind of unlikely, but we'll just um, delegate since this episode's kind of running over time. I think I'm already recording for over an hour now, so just having so much fun. We gotta end at the right place too, <laughs> so. You can't just end all willy-nilly in the middle of a war, you know, you gotta, gotta see things through. Alright. Now We'll take that. Yeah. Oh, that was a close victory. Maybe I should have fought victory that one. Victory suits us. I might uh, rest here for one turn. Leave no stone unturned. We'll need to Forever striving. prepare. going to okay let's I'm gonna end the turn in just a second here and just make sure there's nothing else we don't want to spend all of our money okay just moving quickly here <clears throat> Just want to X, uh, she, oh, maybe I can vassalize him. Now might be a good time to vassalize him, actually. That would be good. I'd even be willing to have him a part of the coalition. I'm leaving my difficulty is easy. We're not playing this game again. <laughs> so I think that screwed up my campaign. Oh, inspiring presence. Spy returning. Okay, I'm going to kick her out then. Since she put in a hang. Can hang with the bros. Leo, you and Pon Lian lack of purpose. Great guys, just great. Let's do Bandit Network. Fifty percent food from fishing. I'll do it. Let's see. This is Shi Hui. Let us get this over with. That's his heir. Oh gosh, he really doesn't want that. My be. For autonomy. Let's see what we can do to get in your good graces here, sir. I could probably offer him at least 10 <coughs> a turn. And take that away and then make a payment. I don't want him to have autonomy if I can help it. I'm willing to do at least 4k. There we go. Perfect. And you belong to me now. Our summer is over. We must <laughs> shelter. And that's our war over with <laughs> Shi Hui. For our future. Raise that one, and I think that's it. All right, well, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope um, if you're new to, ooh, I could send somebody over there. If you're new to uh, playing Yen Bai Ho, I hope this playthrough is helping you kind of learn how to make money. Now, again, I am playing on easy mode. But uh, at least I hope it gives you an idea of the kind of strategic moves you need to make each turn in order to grow your income. I'm now at 41.22 um, every pay period or, you know, every turn. So that's pretty good. I could probably have a, quite a few armies at the moment right now. Let me, um, let me do one thing here. Let's see what I can do. Leak marching orders, falsify marching orders. Da, 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 da. Can't do a whole lot. We're gonna discredit Swin Chuan again. So we wanna get him as soon as we can. 
Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and end the turn there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next episode.